question. So the sideline seven, uh, people are sick of me explaining it. So it's the same seven questions uh, for every single guest so the audience can compare their answers. So I'm going to start off with question one. What is your favourite quote? My favourite quote is, today I do things that others won't do. So tomorrow I do things that others can't do. That's a great. That's a great one. I've only come across it recently, but I have like I'm a mad person with quotes, and I have these huge lists, and that's near the top of it. So that's a good one. Wow. That's a good choice. Um, I don't know who said it now, but <laughs> yeah, I was actually I was just thinking about that. I I've no idea who said it, but it was on Google Images, I think. Um, you can what is me the best? Sure. Yeah, there you go. I'll give you the credit. <laughs> um, <laughs> what is the best sporting event you've been to? And I'm pretty sure I know the answer to this. Yeah, yeah, it's the London Hockey World Cup for sure. That that was an easy choice, I think. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what is the biggest setback or challenge you've had in your career? And that can be in sport and in professional. Professional life, sorry. Yeah. Um, I mean, I think the cruise ship for sure was um, was one of those things that, that um, was very challenging for me. Uh, it's probably defined me as a person moving forward as well. It, it moved me into into kind of high performance sport. Uh, incre- it was incredibly hard mentally. Um, it's given me a lot of a lot of empathy for for athletes who injure and sustain you know long term injuries. Um, and the support that they need. I mean, I think there's a lot of assumptions when people get injured that um, you know they can cope or that. That that's fine and um, I think we just need to need to make sure that everybody has whatever support they need and it's not always physical support um, yeah 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 that's a great point because uh, I, I was just saying uh, to your before I, I'm injured at the moment and the first thing I realized was I'm so used to going out training three times a week and I was just sitting at home yeah. doing absolutely nothing like I just again it wasn't physical support that I needed it was emotional and psychological like my friends are great and my family and everything so it's nice to have that support but you're right it's sort of an assumption Asher she'd be grand she's loads of time off yeah. now to enjoy and that's herself. um you know I play it was I injured playing club um the county season was finished I was part of the panel I wasn't a big county star by any stretch of the imagination but you lose your identity I couldn't work mm. so I wasn't a physio I couldn't play football, so yeah. you know you go to the shops at the weekend, or nobody wants, nobody asks you, oh, are you playing this week, or you know how's the team, what's the vibe in the team, yeah. and you know you lose that uh, month on month on month, and it takes a lot to, and that wasn't the high level, like you know, that was the you know for the high level athletes that do you know have that as their full full life mm-hmm. as well, but um, I do think it was a. Uh, Mm-hmm. you lose your identity a little bit when you when you go through these big injuries and it's it's lonely totally and that's a great point about professional athletes because that is their livelihood as well you know they're used to going out in the training pitch whatever and then coming home but now sure they're not going anywhere and stuff it's it is tough all right uh, moving on to the next question uh looking back what advice would you give your 18 year old self yeah um probably don't don't work too hard don't study too hard don't stress too much I mean it's easy to that now I think what I do and where I am but um yeah I would and even with yeah. coronavirus I'd just say uh, enjoy your friends and family you know play more ball travel more um yeah yeah I think uh you can really get sucked into the world of the world of work and you will at some stage so don't be rushing at the yeah. team I won't. I'll, uh, I'll let my mom know anyway. Say, oh, no, I'm taking a chill yeah. day. Roshi, I tell me. My to... boss isn't working. I said that either. Don't be thinking of <laughs> Oh, I won't. Uh, uh, second last question. Uh, who was your dream dinner guest and why? And the last few guests have turned this into a dinner party, so I'll accept a few. Yeah, this is tricky. Um, and maybe, well, you know, I'm a big Joe Dolan fan, and I actually. Um, okay. You probably don't know who he is. Do you? <laughs> Uh, no, I can't have an idea. Tune, but, uh, my singing is not a strength, but I reckon you could provide the entertainment for, for a dinner. So I'll let you Google him when we get off the call. Okay. That'd be good. I, I, yeah, there we yeah. go. I'll have a good listen to the songs. I might join you as well, depending I don't on how think they go. You're going to join join you. Me on the music, no, but uh, <laughs> enjoy it anyway. 
<laughs> and then uh final question uh it always stumps everybody and it's terrible because i can't take credit for it because i robbed it off another podcast but if your life was a book what yeah i mean i think i think that's very very tricky but um i think draft plan like uh, any any email i receive or, okay. or anything i'm sending in the past few weeks or months has always been this the draft plan for the next week or the next month or the next four weeks and i think that's okay i mean i think we need to you know in sport yeah. anywhere we we got to flex and move we we go somewhere with a plan a a plan b and a plan c and chances are neither of them is what happens so um we got to be resilient we got to we got to be innovative and we got to be able to to flex and and mold and um covid has has really really challenged that but you know we're going to come back stronger yeah. so i'm okay with draft plans for sure